Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. So today we are going to be talking about leveling up. This past weekend, I was at in Atlanta for the BYOB conference, build your own brand, not bring your own beer. Although I guess that was applicable. Into who's great conference. This was the second annual conference. Last year's was held in DC. Learned a lot of great information. One thing that stood out to me throughout the course of the weekend was basically the need to, if you're going to have a business, if you're going to chase after your dreams, and if you're going to build your own brand, you absolutely have to level up. And that level up is going to require you to level up on all cylinders. Sierra, a pun intended. So with that being said, today we are going to talk about what it means to level up in five key areas. So the first area is going to be leveling up for yourself, having boundaries, having a self-care routine, having a sense of, you know, peace in your heart and making sure that you take care of you. Um, in the words of Ayala Van Zant, you cannot pour from an empty cup. The cup is supposed to be full for you. What runs over the cup and into the saucer, that's what's available for everyone else. We keep pouring from an empty cup and wondering why we're empty. Guys, we have to have a proper rest schedule. We have to have a proper balance between work hard, play hard. I'm a very, very, very hard worker, but I do also recognize that if I'm not getting my rest, if I'm not taking care of myself, then I am going to crumble. And in order to build a brand on me, I have to be taken care of. And that requires me taking care of myself on a mental, spiritual, financial, all of that, right? So leveling up for yourself. The second step to leveling up is going to be leveling up spiritually. Are you in tune with God? Are you clear about what he's asking you to do? Are you understanding what your purpose is for you being on this earth? We all were placed here with a specific intention. And the quicker we get to understanding what that purpose is, you'll understand, like you'll still have to work hard but you'll be working smarter and things won't feel as difficult. So now that I have discovered my purpose in this world and I understand that I was placed here to help others, things have not gotten easier. I'm still working my ass off. I really am. But I don't feel like I'm swimming upstream. I feel like I'm going with the flow of life. And although it still takes my effort, it still takes my time, it still takes my energy, It's productive time, it's productive energy, and it's productive attention and making sure that I'm doing things in decent order. The third way that you have to level up is financially. You can't do anything in this world without having your finances in order. And trust me, I'm preaching to the choir right now. Like, I get it, guys. Like, it's really hard to manage your finances. But one takeaway that I got from the conference this weekend is that You don't have a money problem. You have a mindset problem. And I'm talking to myself too. But after this weekend, game over. I am leveling up on a financial level. And I'm starting with my mindset and making sure that I believe I deserve the financial freedom and the financial wealth that is on its way to me. And in the meantime, to whom much is given, much is required. I need to be responsible with my finances. I need to manage what I have so that as it grows, I can only get better from there. Make sense? Cool. So we're going to level up for ourselves, level up spiritually. We're going to level up financially. And then we are going to level up our relationships. (sighs) Who you hang around matters. Let's start there. Who you hang around matters for sure. Um, you you can't hang around negative people and expect to be positive. Just don't work that way. It really does not. And there was an MIT study that was conducted and it showed that if you study someone over the course of 10 years, their annual salary will be the 
within a thousand dollars of their average of their five closest friends. So you and your five closest friends are basically, you are going to be the average of your five closest friends annual salary within a thousand dollar range. That's pretty close where you're talking about thousands of dollars. So really you have to acknowledge like, who am I hanging around? And although that's just the financial aspect of it, let's also understand the reason why. If you're around people who are comfortable being on government assistance, who are comfortable working minimum wage, I mean, you have people who will quit their jobs around August or September just so they can qualify for a ridiculous tax refund. What? Like, government assistance is great for those who need it, but those who are content um, living in that capacity, that's not the type of people that you need to spend, spend around. You can't hang around that environment and think you're going to be the millionaire, the only millionaire in the group. Like everyone that I know that has come from that type of environment and has become successful, it required a certain level of isolation and surround isolation from the old mindset and surrounding yourself with people that have the right mindset and that are going to help you and push you to grow. A lot of my mentors, my virtual mentors, are people like Oprah, Beyonce, Lisa Nichols, Candy Burris. Um, and these are all Black women who started with nothing and have created generational wealth. If that's my goal, I need to be surrounding myself and learning from the people who did it. Why would I learn from people who haven't gotten it together yet? It just... It baffles me, um, but you have to be clear about who you're spending time with and not only from a financial standpoint, but from a mental standpoint. Like, are these people that are encouraging you? Are they pushing you to be a better person? Are they the ones that are, you know, holding you accountable to doing the things you wanted to do? Or are they the ones helping you provide excuses? Are they the ones that are bringing positivity into your life? Or are they the ones that are negative Nancy's or Debbie Downer's? Like, I don't have the mental space for either Negative Nancy or Debbie Downer. Like, I just don't. Like, there's too much writing on my success for me to stop and give up or stop and be stagnant. I was having a conversation with a friend and she's like, like, you're an actions kind of person. Like, yes, like, I can't afford to not. Like, I can't. There's entirely too much that I know God has placed on my heart to do and to accomplish, and it would be selfish of me to not do. So I have to surround myself with people who are going to push me, even when I don't feel like it, who are going to remind me to be kind to myself. So going back to leveling up for yourself, these are the same people who also remind me, you're working too hard, slow down. You're working too hard, take a nap, take a day off, whatever the case, um, but who are going to be honest, but in a loving capacity. The fifth way you're going to level up, now you can level up with your business. But we have to make sure step one through four is in place first so that as you level up in your business and or professional world, you're ready for the results. You want to be ready for your success to come. And it starts by making sure you're leveling up on all cylinders for sure. And if you need help, if you need accountability, if you need guidance, I am currently accepting new clients um, for my development coaching. I go through personal development as well as business development coaching. And it's one-on-one guidance, accountability, and support. If you don't have anyone holding you accountable in your life, you're not going to go as far as you could as quickly as you could. So why recreate the wheel? Let me help, help me help you. Okay. Um, and if you're interested in signing up for my um, development coaching services or just want to learn more about it, sign up for a free consultation at www.nicolesnetwork.net slash consultation. And we'll do a discovery call, see if it's even a good fit. And I want it to be a mutually good fit for both parts. So, you know, just schedule your call and we'll go from there. But definitely, you if I'm not the person holding you accountable, there has to be someone who is checking in on a consistent basis to hold you accountable to the things that you wanted to do. So let's do a quick recap. The five ways that you need to level up, level up for yourself. 
Step level up number two, you're gonna level up in your God relationship, your relationship with God. The third way you're gonna level up is with your finances. Get that money right, okay? <laughs> the fourth way we're gonna level up is with our relationships. And the fifth way we're gonna level up is for your business. And when you're ready to level up for your business, you're going to schedule that consultation call at nicolesnetwork.net slash consultation. All right, guys, as always, I do want to hear your favorite step. What level are you on? One through five. Like, where are you currently? Um, and also put that in the comments. But more, more importantly, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I want to see Nicole's network grow. I know it has great content. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then share this video with someone who needs to hear it and make sure they subscribe too. All right, guys.